Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. More nunny noon, <clears throat> not tea noon, it's more like a tongue twister of sorts. We got ourselves a golf boot. That means we'll be hopping on things and perhaps spikes. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I should have jumped out of the boot. <laughs> well, it just restarts me from the beginning of the stage anyway, so I guess it's not that bad. In the long run, I just gotta time myself on this air fish or whatever the heck this is a little bit better. There we go. Bronto Bert, thank you for your assistance. Oh no! Will there be another boot if I go back? <laughs> I would like it if there is another boot, please. Is there... Yes! Okay, I don't have to restart the stage. But I think it would have been faster if I would have restarted the stage. Like, just click the start... Well, not start button, plus button. Just hit the exit stage. But I didn't do it. I opted for this method. No! <laughs> Until now. I did not know it was that difficult to bounce off of things. Alright, third attempt. <laughs> and Caboose, you will be my trampoline. Fish will be my trampoline as well. I'm not even going to bother with that because I know what is under it. And there we go. Was that so hard? Was that really that hard? Seriously? <laughs> What's in there? Blue star and some orangey red stars. I'm gonna ditch my shoe. Yep. You see nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I actually reacted to that too slow because. Beca wow, I am doing terrible here. <laughs> I have never done so terribly with this boot in my entire life. Okay, that's a big exaggeration there because this game was just made like a month ago or so. <laughs> Alright, calm down, stop rushing, take things one step at a time, one boot at a time. I can't believe I'm having this much trouble on this area. I don't even understand why I'm having so much trouble on this area, but I am, and I do not appreciate that. <laughs> anyway, you can tell where the edge of these blocks are. It's like there's a cloud and then there's, there's a cube inside the cloud, and that tells you where your footing is, basically. And this is apparently where I need my boots. Was that so hard? Was it? Come on now. I hope I didn't need that boot, but I don't think I'll need that boot. I really hope I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna rush on ahead before those cannons fire. I just seen them there and I was like, gotta move! And eat some grapes. I was really excited about those grapes, that's why. Oh, I thought that was a path inside the wall there, but that, that was just a shadow. The shading, I should say. Uh, I'm not gonna bother getting that. I hope I don't need that. Sometimes the beam unlocks areas. So this is a... Pretty easy one to get here. <laughs> it's like they barely even tried hiding that and protecting it that time. Uh, I'm gonna bother with the great. Huh? How do I. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought I missed something down there. Like a bomb behind the cannon or something. I should say a bomb thingy behind the. bomb block behind the cannon. Uh. I don't know what's coming up, so I'm just going to choose one. This one gives me more invincibility frames when I do, like, charge attacks and stuff like that. Which is why I'm going to be using it. Oh, super bonkers. Looks like we're going to get a, a nice super ability! Whoa! Oh, shoot. Cannot get the super ability if I lose my ability. <laughs> yeah. Almost took a hit there, but it worked out in the end. What I'm going to try doing here is, like, switching sides with him like charging to one side as he's attacking the other side like that I think that's gonna work out pretty nicely with his attack pattern Whoa! yeah that, this works out great do this exactly if you have the firepower <laughs> I should say if you're using the firepower and oh I forgot they explode Ooh. oh just one more hit should do it there we go Grab that power, replace your flame, and get the grand hammer. 
Go through the door! Oh, that actually makes me realize something. If you lose your uh, Grand Hammer power in this area, because doors act like checkpoints, um, what'll happen is that you won't be able to go back and get that power. And that would suck royally. <laughs> so don't lose your power. Be careful with it. And abuse it. Wow, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Just made the whole structure go down. I got the uh, Jack in the Box guy there. I'd like him to go over there, actually, because it's closer. Don't shoot. Uh, wait, wait. No. Go over. Dang it, I was right there. <laughs> mm. Okay, this guy shouldn't be this hard to get, but he is being th this hard to get. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I went between the platforms. The uh, between his head and his left, I mean, and the right platform. I cannot believe. <laughs> well, at least I got him. Anyway, here's another ginormous stake in the ground, which I'm going to blast and drop myself up. I mean, down to a lower area. I wonder what's on those, those upper paths. I don't think I ever went through those upper paths. Oh, 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 oh! Good opportunity there. Boop. That was more than a boop, that's for sure. <laughs> that's more like the worst concussion that you could possibly get. That's like instant death to anyone. Oh, wow. This I actually made this thing start moving up. Or, or did I make all the sides go down? Yeah, and the, the this middle structure here. You be the judge. It's a perspective thing. Uh, giant spring? Need the power of my hammer? Oh, yeah. Boing. Where does this take me? Hopefully to a portal. Well, there goes the Liberty Bell. <laughs> but it was for a good cause. Because here's a portal. To the world of monochrome. And floating Tetris blocks. That are going to squish me if I'm not careful. Oh wait, does this one move, or do I have- oh, okay, this one moves. That makes a lot more sense. Don't squish me, please. <laughs> I would appreciate if you wouldn't squish me, thank you. It's, it's not too much to ask, I think, if you wouldn't squish me. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that block that was up there, but it still worked out. Yeah! Probably need to take this guy down there. So I can probably use him to unblockade a blockade that's coming up. Oh dear! <laughs> I'm just gonna use this sparringly. Drop down here. Can I like? No, I guess I didn't. Didn't need him at all. But did I need that? I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it as I go. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to go when you forget what you're doing, for the most part. So I guess I'm doing the best I possibly can do, and that makes me happy. Oh, this is gonna. Okay, that's not gonna give me any problems whatsoever. I, was, I thought that was gonna give me problems actually. What do I want here? Yeah, well, it's a, I'm sure it's a Spear Doomer here. So I got myself a whip. And I'm gonna whip him into shape. Because I remember the whip does a lot of damage to these suckers, so... I don't think this is going to be a bad choice in the slightest for me. One, two... Ah, oh, it was a little too early there. Just a tad too early. Don't hurt me? Okay. You guys are really close to the ground, so it's not really much of a problem. Woo! You gonna dash again, or you gonna do something in the background? Okay, you're gonna do nothing to me. <laughs> you failed terribly. And... There we go. Well, I guess he didn't fail terribly, because he still did damage to me, but still... There's this tomato here, which kind of nullifies all the damage he did here anyway. And... There we go! Yay! He's so happy, so cute. It's going through the door. The exit's probably coming up right ahead here. I wouldn't doubt that in the slightest, because, you know, once you find one of those black and white areas of gloom and doom... Uh, actually, there's a little more stage here. I'm gonna take fighter guy here. And continue. Oh, okay, there's not much more stage. <laughs> Gold game? Oh my. Oh, 
Guess I can't get the number one spot twice in a row. That stage took a little longer than I expected it would, namely because of the fact that I screwed up so bad at the beginning part of it, but oh well, things like that just happen. Copy room 4 is open, and so is stage 5, so I'm going in there instead. <laughs> Gotta love these abstract looks of Kirby levels. Got those little double circles there, like small... Oh, this is the boss rush area. Um, to get the energy sphere in each area, what you want to do is uh, take the boss's power as you usually do and then enter the next door and you won't have any trouble getting to the um, boss power up. I mean, the uh, energy sphere, excuse me. I am completely owning him. <laughs> I got like half of his energy down before he could even do one attack thanks to the farm here. I know, now he's guarding I guess. That's still not gonna help him, oh dear. Take it, and go. And, oh, the door opens right in the center. I thought I was gonna have to go to the right. And, oh, King DDD music. I didn't notice that at first as well. I should say a King DDD remix. Oh yeah, awesome tastic. I'm gonna take the spear because it gives me a little more range than the snow no, sword. The sword's a little swifter than the spear. Alright, what you got? What you got? Oh, it's Mondo. Yeah, the sword will be better for him, because I can do this dealio as he's coming towards me. I can, like, combo attack him in midair, and it's a lot of damage per swipe. And I'm sure I'm going to be needing the rock for the future area, so do not forget to take him. As I said, take all boss powers as they come. Never forget to, and you'll be able to get all the energy spheres in a level. Door! Yes, right in the center as the other ones. Oh, oh look at that! What am I going to need to use to get that? Yeah. <laughs> Just blast right through the center. And no choice for power for the next area. I would like a choice. Rock or, well, stone. Stone or beam, I'm definitely taking the beam. Definitely more productive than the stone. Water Galboros. So I guess the regular version of the enemies are just called Galboros, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> like, I should say the fire version of these enemies. I don't know the enemies' names, and all, I should say all the enemies' names in Kirby games, but it doesn't really matter all that much to you. I mean, come on, we play games for fun, we don't need to know all the, the technical, tiny details and aspects of them. We're, we are just here to love and appreciate the games just to have fun, and get ourselves energy spheres. <laughs> sure enough, we needed the water power to get in here, and there we go. You're only one square in height, so you can just squeeze through those areas, despite what it looks, you know, with your tank full of water hat there. It doesn't even make any sense there. <laughs> it's like it's a bucket of water, but but there's no edges, edges to it whatsoever. Yeah, I'm taking the fire power up over the sword in case you didn't re I mean the water power up over the sword, excuse me, because of the fact that you got stuff like this, long range for the boss, as opposed to the uh, sword, which is all close range stuff. You can also do that by pressing up and then attacking. Quite handy since he homes in on you like that. Really, really predictable attacks. Sort of. <laughs> uh, now he's doing little energy balls. Not gonna really do much to me though, is he? No, Dumbledore, I believe, is a new boss that we haven't seen before, isn't he? Uh, as you can see, he's pretty predictable. What do you give me, though? Oh, the spark power-up. Very nice. I bet you I'm gonna need it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's the last power. Sweet! Through the door. Yeah, I guess this part isn't gonna be longer than I... I, I mean, I was expecting it to be, like, a lot longer because of the way I messed up on the last stage, but guess not. Did I even take a hit in that stage? I didn't notice at all. Anyway, gold game. Whoa! Oh, I'm getting really good at that, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to get another one for you. Anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing in, the next, I mean, in this part. Not the next part. Obviously, you haven't seen the next part yet. I'm talking about this part. 
So that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do the boss of Nutty Noon. Oh, and get the last ship part, of course.